KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 647. NASDAQ was up 139. S&P's up 51. Gold. Gold contract down $3.70, trading at $17.80 an ounce. We had silver down seven cents, twenty-two dollars thirty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, nice bid on there, up three fifty, sixty-nine dollars seventy-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year down twenty-three ticks. The thirty-year full point plus twenty-one ticks. Both the note and bond folks came down with light volume. And king dollar, king dollar up one hundred eighty ticks, trading out at ninety-six two ninety-seven. Euro at one twelve, yen at one thirteen and a half. And the British pound at 132 to 1 the US dollar. We get over and we take a look at the SPY first. We dealt with the SPY. SPY's up five and a half dollars, five dollars and twenty cents. You get a contraction of all and we had 92 million. It went lower Friday with uh, 137 Thursday, uh, 137 uh, Wednesday, 132. Bottom line, yeah, I think the SPY can probably get up to somewhere around uh, 364, maybe even the lows of the high, which is 367. And then I think you'll see a flip around again, and we'll go downtown. We'll go take a look at the NDX 100. The three Qs, three Qs, much weaker than the SPY. The Qs are up $3, 386, same setup, however. You went lower Friday, 105 million shares. Higher today with 64 million. I think the Qs can get up to like 392. Bottom line, I expect the same type of setup to go back downtown. I'm looking for the Qs to get down to the 350 area. That is the swing point from the 14th of October. Gold. Gold contract out here. Traded sideways out here today. Uh, GCG. There we is. Okay. So the gold. Wow. Oh, GCG. There we go. The gold contract uh, traded to a low of 17.76. A high of 17.89. Closes out at 17.79. Uh, and uh, bottom line, you had light volume, 98,000 uh, contracts traded. Um, you know, it didn't hit the swing low. That's the, that's the good news inside this contract. The swing low is 1761. Last week, we got down to 1762.20. That still says it wants higher price. And good old, uh, the note and bond market is something else. That's just something else, man. The bottom line, it went higher last week with volume. You pull back with lighter volume. This still wants higher price, lower yield. You get the 10-year right now yielding 1.43. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. We'll oh, get him, folks. Sharp